You mentioned your Republican colleagues, but right now your top two legislative priorities, your social spending package and voting rights legislation, are stalled, blocked by your own party after months of negotiation. You are only guaranteed control of Washington for one more year before the midterms. Do you need to be more realistic and scale down these priorities in order to get something passed? No, I don't think so. When you say more realistic, I think it's extremely realistic to say to people, because let me back up. You all really know the politics of this country and your networks and others. You spend a lot of time, which I'm glad you do, polling this data, determining where the, what the American people's attitudes are, et cetera. American people overwhelmingly agree with me on prescription drugs. They overwhelmingly agree with me on the cost of education. They overwhelmingly agree with me on early education. They overwhelmingly go on the list on, on, on child care. And so we just have to make the case of what we're for and what the other team's not for. Look, we knew all along that a lot of this was going to be an uphill fight. And one of the ways to do this is to make sure we make the contrast as clear as we can. And one of the things that I think is we're going to have to do is just make the case. I don't think there's anything unrealistic about what we're asking. I'm not trying to, I'm not asking for castles in the sky. I'm asking for practical things the American people have been asking for for a long time, a long time. And I think we can get it done. You're not going to scale down any of these priorities. But so far, that strategy isn't working. You haven't been able to get some of these big legislative ticket well, items done. I got two done. real big ones done, bigger than any president has ever gotten in the first year. But currently, Mr. President, <laughs> your spending package, voting rights legislation, they're not going anywhere. So That's true. Is there anything that you are confident you can get signed into law before the midterm elections? Yes, I'm confident we can get uh, pieces, big chunks of the uh, Build Back Better law signed in law. And I'm confident that we can take the case to the American people that the people they should be voting for who are going to oversee whether the elections, in fact, are legit or not, should not be those who are being put up by the Republicans to, de to determine that they're going to be able to change the outcome of the election. So whether or not we can actually get election. And by the way, I haven't given up. We haven't finished the vote yet on what's going on on, on the uh, um, on voting rights and the John Lewis bill and others. But uh, um, so, look, this is, I, I, I've been engaged a long time in public policy. And I don't know many things that have been done in one fell swoop. Um, and so I think the, bet, the most important thing to do is try to inform, not educate, inform the public of what's at stake in stark terms and let them make judgments and let them know who's for them and who's against them, who's there and who's not there, and make that the case. And that's what I'm going to be spending my time doing in this off-year election.